So I've had an offer on a property I have been trying to sell outside. There's a little bit of movement, uh, not much. You can see, we're sort of, yeah, exactly in the center of the screen. Sort of. <laughs>
video diary of state of emergency in Lisbon and today is day 10. It's a beautiful sunny day, a true spring day, very quiet Saturday. It looks quite warm out there. In fact, it is quite warm out there, so much so I open a window and now I have a place full of flies which I have been trying to shoo away without success. Outside there's a little bit of movement, uh, not much in the building site. I can hear some voices and noise, but I don't think they're doing any major works today. So a very quiet day. So my weather app said it was six degrees and I'm sure it was and I'm sure it's going a little bit bonkers because it's just a beautiful, clear, sunny day. I already ate lunch. I cooked a little bit more vegetable rice, which uh, I ate with tuna and some pawpaw with lime juice, which is something I really enjoy. And Portugal numbers have come in. So there's a total of 5,170 confirmed cases and a total of 100 deaths so far. The president of Portugal, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, is nonetheless quite optimistic that we are succeeding in flattening the curve. There's some good news that tons of protective material such as masks and gloves needed by medical personnel have arrived. They were flown in from China. It's great that we are actually getting protective gear and like some other countries in the world which are uh, struggling with that particular issue. Yes, they have a, a flo been flown in from China, which is where patient zero occurred. So I was looking at this animation in the Courier Mail. It's something that we've already have known for quite a while, that it did start in China. But look how quickly it spread all over the world. Queensland numbers have climbed to 625. My family continues well so far, so that's really good. I was reading an article in the New Yorker last night. It's called The Evolution of a Coronavirus. And it discusses the history of the scientific research on, on the coronavirus family. And this research actually started since, well, the 1950s. More recently, with this particular coronavirus, researchers have found that the virus can linger on copper for four hours, on a piece of cardboard for 24 hours, and on plastic or stainless steel for as long as three days. And more scarily, they also found that the virus can survive for three hours, floating through the air, transmitted by tiny droplets from people coughing or just even breathing. So that's pretty scary. And that's why we should maintain social distance because we can breathe in their breath if we're closer than six feet or two meters. And on a more personal note, I've had good news. I've had an offer on a property I have been trying to sell here in Portugal for a while. It's a property in Arabida, which is a beautiful area, not too far from Lisbon, about 40 kilometers. It's near very beautiful beaches. It's a rural property. And I've been trying to sell that. And this is the main reason why I'm here to start with. The people who made an offer, they're a young couple from Denmark. They have two young children. So we're now under informal negotiations through email. So I'll see how that goes. But if I manage to sign a contract of sale while I'm here, 
before I fly back to Australia whenever that's possible, that would make my trip here worthwhile after all. And that would be, that would be good all round, I think. So yeah, I think that's it for today. I will definitely go for a walk, maybe a long walk. And if I have some footage, I'll show it to you after this. And yes, so stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Exactly in the center of the screen. Sort of juts out vertically, sort of light gray. Two dormer windows at the top.
think you understand. Now I need a scrubbing. I gotta watch. 